As a kid, I stopped trusting myself. You might have done the same. In this video, I want to explore the concept of self-trust, the challenges when you don't experience it, the benefits when you do, and I want to consider the journey and the pathway to rediscovering self-trust and how it can bring to each of us true happiness, true realization, and true liberty. So what are the challenges when you don't trust yourself? What does it look like for someone to be in this place of lack of trust in themselves? You will look to others to validate your decisions. You will be seeking affirmation for the steps that you take on a day to day basis. You will also be in a place of over analysis. Your mind will be contemplating what is right, what is wrong, and you'll be making judgments based on the feedback that you receive in your day to day life. And then only when you're sure potentially that you won't annoy someone or get in the way of someone else, it is only then that you will take the step that you've chosen to take. Someone's life who does not trust themselves will often feel like they're living the path that others have suggested for them. They haven't chosen the job, chosen the career, chosen the place that they live, choose to live in. It is really what they have settled for that they think other people will accept. I know that I have lived in this way often throughout my life. I have questioned my own choices. I have looked to other people to validate what I want to do next. I haven't had the confidence in self to make my own choices. And as a consequence of this, I have often felt trapped. Yet in many ways, it is my own self-imposed trap, my own prison walls that I have set up. Because I'm seeking to find safety, I'm seeking to ensure that I don't get criticized or I don't put a foot wrong. But in reality, I am confining myself in a way that I don't wish to be confined. I think many of us are in this position. We're looking outward to work out what to do and who to be. And we know there really must be a different way. So let's now turn to the benefits of self-trust, to trusting yourself day to day. In many ways, they are the contrast to the challenges that we've just discussed. You discover your own path in life. You find from within what you wish to do, what you want to do, and you move and you flow in that. As you develop self-trust, you grow in connection with yourself each day. You integrate and you become authentic. The desires and beingness from within starts to become shown on the outside. People start to interact with the true authentic you. And then you also discover the immense power within you. I believe that there is tremendous, incredible power that we all have to impact our world, to create our world. We are creating our world every single moment. But when we recognize and trust the self within, we recognize that this power is fully accessible to us and can change our world. And it is this connection to that power that you start to discover as you go on this journey of self-trust. But many of us don't find ourselves trustworthy. 
through experiences of our lives, we have not trusted ourselves. And that is why we look outside to other people instead. But I want to turn to who and what we are trusting if we take this journey off self-trust. You're learning to trust the true self within. Some may say the divine self, the higher self. Others may say the father. But you're trusting the essence and the power within that knows best what is good and perfect for you and for everyone around you. You're learning to trust that. So it's not this selfish ego I. It is the one within that is all things, okay? And the more you go on this journey, the more that you will discover that that self, that true self is fully trustworthy and can be trusted with your whole life. Remember, I am the, and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. And you're recognizing that connection. You're recognizing that self that wants to live in and through you. So I wish to leave you with this encouragement to seek to take steps every day to trust yourself, to trust this true higher self within. For those of us that have split from self and do not trust self, it will seem really difficult. It'll seem unnatural. But simply acknowledging a desire to trust in self in any moment will support you in taking those steps of trust. Choose in a moment to not look without, turn within and simply say, I choose to trust the self within. Be quiet, listen to yourself. And then when you're ready, take a step of faith and of trust in yourself. This journey of self-trust is my journey. It is what I am seeking to do more and more so each day, to bring it into my life in a consistent basis. I will be exploring it further on other videos on this channel. So please subscribe to follow along, to hear how my journey progresses and any tips that I might have for you in your own journey as you find a way to trust in self and bring the true authentic you into your world. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.